Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Today's the 23rd. A um, few days since my last video, and I've uh, been trying to figure out how to make this next one, but I, I, I'm going to tell you what's happening with me, you know, like in my, in my psyche. A lot of times these videos are an outlet for me, you know, it's like uh, therapy. I need therapy. And, um, you know, I say stuff, and then I listen to it real quick, and then I post it. And the last video that I made had a real profound effect on me. And for a couple reasons. Um, the movie that I saw, American Sniper, that really had an effect on me. It's near and dear to my heart. Um, the characters, what it was about. Um, just very moving to me. Um, I haven't seen a movie at a theater in 20 years. And the reason for that is I can't stand to go to the movie and listen to people, you know, talking about what they talk about. All right? I just can't take it. Um, you know, while they stuff their faces with popcorn and drink massive things of pop. I just can't stand it. And, and when I watched that movie the other day, it was the same thing. I realized why I hadn't, but I want to see the movie. And when it was over... Uh, everybody else got up and left, and I was sitting there with, with tears going down my cheek. So it had a real profound effect on me. Uh, and then I made that video about wolves, sheep, and sheepdogs, and I got a, a message from uh, someone that I've met recently, a new person to me, and said, thank you so much for posting that because now I know what it is that burns in my belly. And what that is that's burning in her belly is she's a sheepdog. You're made this way. You don't have a choice. You were made this way. Um, and so I thought, let's talk about that more. Um, really, for me, it was a great big help because I had to face the reality that's who I am. And it's not like I, it's who I am for the first 10 years of my life and then I can put it away. I'll be that way when I'm 90. You know, or a hundred, or maybe they'll get me before then. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, so I thought I thought we'd just talk about that, and it's it's made my life a whole lot easier just knowing who I am and how I'm put together and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Because uh, you know, there's no fame or fortune in this. I mean, maybe there's fame. I could care less about that. But there's no fortune in this. And a lot of times I've scratched my head saying, why are you doing this? You know, you're, you're risking everything, and you, you're not going to gain anything. But that is the nature of a sheepdog. His job at the end of his life is, did he protect the flock? Period. You know, my life doesn't have anything to do with, uh, you know, how big this farm is or how much money is in my bank account or, you know, what kind of pickup truck I'm driving or anything like that or how many medals I got when I was in the military or any of that stuff. For me, it has to do with did you protect the herd? And I am, and I plan to protect the herd even more. Now, we have to know as sheepdogs, and, and, and i got to say here, uh, I don't think anybody listening to this is a sheep because, you know, there's definitely sheep around me when it comes to this, and generally I don't uh, subject myself to them, but occasionally I have to subject myself to them, and whenever this subject comes up, they want to, la, 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 I can't hear you, and they want to walk away. They, they, they don't want to hear this because sheep don't care about stuff like this. Sheep are more than happy to see the guy next to them take it. And they just say, whoa, glad it wasn't me. You know, that's victory for them. And they're very happy with the pasture that they're on. And the, the longer they go, the bigger their pasture gets and the more happy they are. They don't want to hear about problems. They don't want to hear about defending, you know, the, the weaker of us. They don't want to know about that. And that's just the way they're put together. And I've had a hard time with that, you know. I've I've had a hard time with people around me that I thought should have been, had my back, and did not. And, and they never will, you know. 
They never will. That's not how they're put together. But you that are listening to this, um, you're either a sheepdog and you're proud of it and you will do whatever it takes to protect the herd, including writing letters to Bill Schutte and putting your email address in there. You're not, you don't care. You're not, you're not afraid. You know, a real sheepdog that has no fear is not a fear of the wolf. I've looked into that face and there's nothing to be afraid of there. But a lot of you are what we would call sheepdogs in training. S-I-T or S-H-I-T, whatever. Um, and you're sheepdogs, but you're pups. And maybe you haven't been, um, you haven't been trained the way you should. So I think we need to do that. We need to train you. Um, and I think a lot of you are going to know that you're a sheepdog and you're going to have to do some things. You're going to have to experiment with taking risks. Doesn't work out. You did your duty. Um, get used to hanging it out there. Um, and the, the more you do it, the closer you get to the wolf, the more glimpses of the wolf you see and your fear will dissipate because there is really nothing to be afraid of with the wolves. They're cowards. Uh, so we'll talk about sheepdogs, but you all, I believe, or the majority of you are sheepdogs, except for the wolves that have to listen to this because they're, they're on the prowl. Um, but I want to talk about the wolves because you need to know who your enemy is. And so the characteristics of the wolves, wolves are generally psychopathic. And what that means is they have, they don't even think about it when they hurt others, you know. They generally uh, run in packs. Um, but sometimes uh, we see where they actually use sheep uh, to do their dirty work for them. And they, they offer the sheep trinkets, you know, to sell their soul. And uh, these sheep that do this are promised a better day. You know, they're promised a much better day. And they know who they are, absolutely know who they are. Um, the, probably the ones that are listening to this right now from that outfit, they're saying, oh, shit, that's me. Excuse my French. But um, generally, they, they figure it out, and they start to pull away. And I've actually seen that from that outfit. They've started to pull away. Now, when it comes to wolves um, and sheepdogs, generally sheepdogs do not kill them. They don't bring back a dead body. Um, their presence is enough to make the wolf go look for some mice out in the woods, you know, go do something else. So you never quite uh, exterminate them. Uh, there's about 1% of them. But the good news is you don't have to. You don't have to arm wrestle the wolf. You don't have to stare him down in a, in a debate. All you have to do is let him know you're there. We're watching you. I mean, because that's, after all, our sheepdogs, ones we use, we use Great Pyrenees, that's what they do. They sit out on the hill and they watch the tree line. And we don't even see what they're watching, but that's the nature of a good sheepdog. Notice I said before, the sheepdog is always going to sniff the wind. Well, that's kind of a metaphor for uh, you're going to get in touch with your senses. And when you get a bad feeling about a situation or an individual, let's look at that. You might be dealing with a sheep that's been paid by a wolf. You might be dealing with a wolf, and you don't know it. You know, wolves have, have, are known for, uh, for putting on sheep's clothing. But as you progress in your sheep doggedness, you will, you will learn these things and you will know how to smoke them out. And uh, I, I, I plan to make this uh, a pillar of my life, is to uh, be dedicated to this principle and to teach this principle. Um, because we need more sheepdogs. We definitely do. And I, I will tell you this, I think that the, the fields are ripe, are ripe right now for harvest of sheepdogs because people are just wondering what are we going to do and you think well we have to we have to you know write to 
you know, our, our government to straighten this out, but the problem is um, wolves have a tendency to gravitate towards those positions and um, because they can get away with quite a bit. They can wield that power uh, against the sheep. Uh, make no mistake that the wolves don't exist without the sheep. They feed off the sheep all kinds of different ways. All right, I'm going to keep this right about here. Um, we'll be talking about this some more. Mark from Baker's Green Acres.